Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Instructional Technology Facilitator at Gravely Hill Middle School in Eflin, North Carolina. This video is about using a coordinate plane in Google uh, Drawings. So you, to get to Google Drawings, you start in your Google Drive, you click New, you click More, and go to Google Drawings. I have a new untitled drawing up right here. We're going to use the Research tool. So to do that, you would click Tool and then Research, and then this side box will come up. You want Images. And here, let's be good digital citizens and say, feel free to use, share, or modify even commercially. Type in coordinate plane. The very first result, I'm filming this in January 2016, is from the Wikimedia Commons. It is quite nice. I'll drag it over. It has Y and X values ranging from negative six to positive six. I resize to make it bigger. The background on this one is transparent. If you want a color background, this is what you would do. You would click text box. You'd insert a text box that you drag to cover the whole thing. And then you fill it up with the paint. I'll do white. Oh no, where'd my image go? I just have to right click, go to order and send it back. And now I'm there. Okay, great. So I have my coordinate plane and I have a nice background and the Y and X axes are labeled. Let's insert a point. The way we do that is we go to this shapes button here. We go to the circle and then we hold down the shift key. We do that so that the point uh, that the when we draw that circle, it stays a perfect circle. If you don't do that, it can become an oval and that can become a problem. So I made a bit of a big point there, but I want you to be able to see it. I'll do the fill color of black, and now I have a black point at negative two, three. If I right click and copy, now I will paste that point. And now I have two points, and let's throw this one up here. Let's say four, or four and five at the four, five point. So now I have two points. I can insert a line here by going to select line, make it a line, and then I'll draw it from this point let's say I'll draw it from about here no that's not a good spot I'm gonna I'm just gonna hit backspace delete uh, I'll draw it from this spot here connect it to this right here I'll do it right there and now I have my line that goes between those two points I can change the color here or the weight of the line if I want to make it really big I can make it really thick um, in this case I probably wouldn't do that if I'm doing coordinate graphing but you see how that would work. I can then delete the line. One thing I could do is if I go back here, now I can just take these points and just put them off to the side and tell the students, hey, put them at these two points and draw a line. We can do this in Google Docs. Oh, well, I could either set this up in Google Classroom as make a copy for each student, or I could copy and paste this or even create this inside of Google Docs. Let me demonstrate that. So first I'm going to do a control A to select everything. And then I'm going to right click and copy. Now I'll go into Google Docs. In Google Docs, you can insert a drawing. Let me show you that. So I go to insert, I click on drawing. And now you see I have that same kind of background that I had. So if I write, and notice I have the same tools there. If I right click and paste it, now I have that same drawing. And above that, I could put some instructions. Hey, graph this line, draw this square, this rectangle, whatever it might be. So I click save and now it's on the file. And again, I can put instructions, I can resize, I can do all kinds of things. Um, and the kids can go in and just right double click on it and edit it. So I could just have a Google Doc file with a number of those and then instructions. And if you notice, it's, it is taking a minute to load, but there you see I can now edit um, this drawing right here. Once my tools come up, so I could go in and get my point and drag my point and I could insert a line. There's my line. I could insert a line going somewhere. And I can do all of those things. So that is using, oh, no, I'm still in the line tool there. I got to get out of line and go to move. So that is using Google Drawings for the coordinate plane. If you have any questions about that, either comment in this video below or text me at, or excuse me, not text me, Twitter me 
uh, hit me up on Twitter at EdTechTom. Thank you so much for watching.